レッツゴー We took the jeep to the Palenque. Wasn't a long ride like yesterday. I follow Ollie up the pier to a series of warehouses. Boats are moored below, shipping out their goods. It's still morning, but there are plenty of otters wandering about here. And some tourists are here too, like me. There seems to be a constant stench of fish and mustelid here that will never wash out. So, how do you know where the jeepneys go? What do you say to stop? You can see the routes on the front usually. You just have to memorize the city streets. When you want them to stop, just say, stop here. Really? That simple, huh? What about the fee? Just give them a big coin and they'll figure out the change. Right. This is the place? One of them. This is my usual stop. They sell everything here. Even video games? If you want one of those 301 block game things, I always want the real deals though. You have to go to the city for those. We'll have to play a game sometime. Oh yeah, you still play Potion Pets? Oh that? That game is old. You played it all the time when you were here though. I did play it a lot when I was younger. It was a distraction, really. I didn't want to enjoy this place. I just wanted to go home. I basically completed that game five times over to pass the time. It's my favorite series now. Sure, let's play it sometime. But aren't we shopping for food, not games? Oh, right, Kuya. Let's head inside. Stay close to me. It gets really rowdy in here. Ollie slips past one of the larger otters, and I quicken my pace to catch up. Inside, it smells even fishier. I hope I get used to this. Rows and rows of various fish and meats sitting on ice as far as I can see. Ack. I slap the side of my neck. A lot of flies, too. What are we looking for, exactly? Just the basic fish. Tilapia, salmon, a little bit of tuna, too. If you think there's anything tasty in here, let's grab that too. Alongside the fish are other merchants hawking their goods. They also have fly swatters on hand, waving the pests away. Is this really hygienic? Of course, otter tail has the freshest fish around. I don't know if that's assuring. As we head deeper in, it seems it's not just a marketplace. There's also tables with otters having meals. Saw a stall selling spears and knives. Another was just covered in a black tarp with three large X's on it. Ollie's pace speeds up as we walk down the aisles of fish. He's a lot faster in here. For the next hour or so, I follow Ollie while he barters and argues for fish and other goods. Sometimes it's in English, sometimes in river tongue. Magano ang tilapia po? Dalawampot lima kada kilo. Ito ay dalawampu noong nakalaang linggo. Eventually, after some back and forth, they shake hands and the fish mongers wrap fish up in newspaper and hand it to Ollie, who then hands it to me to stuff into the pack. We're getting a lot more fish than I thought. Ugh. Huh? You okay, kuya? Yeah, just my back is still sore. I guess the meds only really work on my hands and nowhere else. Can you still carry the pack? I can take it. I'm a big otter, you know. Not as strong as him, though. I can give you a massage when we get back. Otters aren't supposed to be walking upright, you know. Not natural for long torsos. Maybe. I don't want to bother you too much. You gotta relax, Kuya. This is an adventure, right? Yeah. Was there anything you wanted to get here? What about the pasta? Oh right, kamatis, bawang, basil. I understood one of those. Olives? You eat olives? Masama ang lasa nito sa akin. I think he said it tastes bad to him. Yes, that was what he said. <laughs> I actually love them. 
But you hate fish. I don't hate fish. It's just been a while. I think we can look around for olives, but you have to finish it all before you leave. I promise. Ollie speeds off ahead again. It's later in the day and there's a lot more people in the market now. Wow, uh, look at all those shadow, shadow puppet play. <laughs> hey, wait! It's too hard to track him down. A bunch of otters start bumping into me. I struggle to get out of the way. I almost end up knocking over someone's lunch in the process. I don't want to run in here, but I gotta or else I'll lose him. God, it's like there's an ocean of otters in here. He's almost out of my view. I need to reach out. I don't want to get lost in this otter pile. It's hard to breathe. Ollie! It's like I'm drowning here. I can't! I need to swim faster. I'm getting crushed. Ollie! Ollie! I grab onto his hand before he's completely out of view. Oh. Well, that is nice. <laughs> Lots of uh, CG. Don't run off like that! I'll get lost in here! Oh, right. Sorry, Kuya. I'm just used to doing this on my own. You have to be fast in here or what you want to buy might be already sold out. I'll be fine now, Ollie. Just don't do that again with me. Please. I'll slow down, Kuya. Um, you can let go now. I realize I've been holding his hand the entire time. Err, I think I'll hold on, actually. Until we get out of here, I mean. It's gay, but like, everyone is here. <laughs> yeah, they did say it was a uh, an an island that had a lot of gay otters, so it's a little hand holding gonna do. It's not uh, it's not super taboo. Ah, all right. Remind me to get a leash while we're here. A leash? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is he gonna walk Owen like a dog? Oh my gosh! They sell those? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> that was really close. I don't mind all these people being here. It's just, it reminds me too much about what happened in college. The entire reason why I'm here. Lead the way, Ollie, but slowly. Alright, Kuya. After calming down, Ollie leads me to another area of the market. Less flies and more vegetables. And a slower pace from him. Is it okay for me to hold your hand like this? It always hurts, but I take meds to numb it. I see. I've learned to ignore it, but sometimes I can't do any art on some days. I should really catch up with that, actually. Doesn't seem like I've caught a break so far. It's only been one day, though. Ollie starts browsing the goods here. They got some stuff I'm interested in. Grab the jar of olives after Ollie translated. Got tomatoes, garlic, basil. Wait, that's what he said earlier, wasn't it? Ollie opts to keep these in a plastic bag instead of in the pack. I can hold those too. It's okay, you already have a lot on your back. I can carry some load too. After a little while, Ollie has his hands full of groceries too. I grab one of the bags so he has at least one free hand to hold. Hey, you wanna take a break? They got ice cream on the pier outside. Uh, yeah, sure. Still holding tightly to my hand, Ollie leads us slowly out of the market. It wasn't as crazy like earlier, thankfully. Over here, Kuya. Ollie approaches an ice cream cart. He gets a chocolate cone. I grab mint chip. Wow, uh, he has mint chip. Uh, the ice cream uh, carts in markets usually only have like uh, regular flavors like um, mango, cheese, uh, chocolate, you know, uh, basic flavors. 
uh, not usually mint chip. <laughs> wow. You know, I always wonder if you can just get mint without the chocolate. Uh, mint without the chocolate, uh, that's, that's going to be like, uh, a frozen toothpaste. <laughs> Lick. Fresh. Choco. Ollie takes a seat on a nearby bench. I take a load off my paws myself. It's nice, isn't it? Well, aside from the fish smell... You'll get used to it. The ocean breeze kinda drowns it out. I sigh deeply. I could get used to this. Did we get everything here? Yeah, I actually got a bit extra fish in case Papa complains. We'll have to stop by quick to drop it off. Did you want to eat there or we have pasta for lunch? I saw the menu. All he has there is fish and chicken strips. Pretty much, yeah. That's all Papa eats. So that's what everyone else eats. I think I want some spaghetti when we get back. Haha, <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh wait, right here. Ollie runs off, leaving me on the bench. I thought he wasn't gonna do that again. But I guess I should finish my ice cream while Ollie does his thing. Another text from Andrew, probably. Are you doing okay? Hey Andy. I'm okay. We're shopping, getting lunch ready. Oh, what? Spaghetti. Your fave. It's 11 p.m. here. You bored? I miss you. I do too. Are you in the city? I'm in a village, on the tail. A lot of others, it's nice. Maybe I can see it sometime. Maybe. I wish I could say sorry, but not through text. It's not right. Someday, yeah. Kuya! Ollie runs up from behind me. I got something for you. Hold out your hands. I hold out my hands in front of me. Ollie pulls out a rattling pouch and places it on my palm. Huh? I open it. Inside are brightly colored clear stones with rough surface. See glass? You still craft stuff, right? Ang alahas? Yeah, my doctor said I should do it more as a therapy. Thanks for these. Don't know how I could pay you back though. Aside from cash, make something for me. Surprise me. I love it either way. Heh, <laughs> alright Ollie. I stuff the pouch into my pocket while I notice Ollie looking at something. Oh hey, I remember something. Follow over there, kuya. I was getting so comfortable, but I rise and follow Ollie. We're further along the pier. It extends pretty far out into the ocean. Seems less people hang around here. There aren't many boats either. It's like we're still in town, but it's like a secret sort of place. Right here. Ollie runs over to the railing and beckons me over. Oh, oh, that is so nice. You know, I like uh, looking out, you know, into the beach or into the ocean. It's very relaxing. Oh. At the very end of the pier, you can get a view of the barrio. We basically walked all the way to the end of the pier. We're so far away from everyone here. Not even ships are around. It's just us now. No otters. No fish. No hyenas. Just the sea. Just us. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, the ocean breeze is nice from here. I take a deep breath and let myself relax. He tries to put his arm on my shoulders, but he's too short. So I do it for him instead. He's warm and slightly damp from sweat. I'm just really happy I can see you again, Kuya. You're welcome, Ollie. Can we stay like this? Just for a little while? I just... 
want to take the sea in. Sure. Oh, Kuya, did you leave the fish on the bench? Oh, crap! I quickly run back to the bench. Ollie soon follows. Great, the bag's still there. I wasn't worried. Others here are honest. Mostly. We got everything we need now, though, right? That's all, Kuya. Let's head back then. Right, right. 